This nice lady has uh, Meniere's disease in the left ear. Her symptoms started a year and a half ago, uh, but without any obvious hearing loss. She was having episodes of vertigo, and, uh, but, and because of her lack of hearing loss and the history of migraine earlier in life, we started her on nortriptyline. Now she did have a significant um, improvement in the frequency of her big attacks, uh, but then something happened. She had experienced a drop in her hearing, more classic for Meniere's disease, and her symptoms, in addition to being somewhat episodic, uh, became chronic. She, was, she never had good days anymore, and she had difficulty tolerating head motion. Is that right? Absolutely. So in addition to the, um, at that time, we put a steroid in your ear to see if we could yes. improve the hearing. It seemed like something had injured the inner ear, and, um, but the steroid didn't help. Uh, no. We uh, started you on fludrocortisone, which is a kind of steroid that is a salt steroid that um, we know the ear really likes. And you've had a big improvement in your symptoms. Is that right? Absolutely, so, yes. So you had a lot of ear fullness that has diminished? Uh, remarkably, and I can absolutely tell the difference. Yeah, and your day-to-day -day symptoms have, your head has cleared up. Ab yes, absolutely, and at this time it's a real test because I'm under a lot of stress and I am able to get through my days very well, so I'm very pleased. Yeah, good, and actually um, on the fludrocortisone your hearing thresholds mm -hmm. have improved and your uh, word clarity has gone up from about 50% to yes. 80%, yes. Um, which is, uh, you still have a little bit of a flat mm -hmm. hearing loss in that ear. Um, but it's nothing that I even notice at this point. I can go for days without focusing on that, and uh, I'm very happy with that result. So this is sustainable for you. Uh, yes, um, So it we're going to continue with the fludrocortisone and nortriptyline as a combination. Yeah. You have a unique combination of both vestibular migraine right. and Meniere's disease. And we have one treatment that is treating the brain and the migraine yes. and another treatment that is specifically treating the inner ear. And this seems to be the magic combination that has uh, gotten you to a livable and workable solution. I feel like I have gotten my life back. Well, I appreciate your sharing your story with mm -hmm. us. I'm sure there are many other patients who have a very similar yes. history and who may benefit from a similar treatment plan. Yes, thank absolutely, you. thank you.